hi everyone welcome back to the channel where you get a little everything jamaican i am michelle and as usual thank you for your continued support we are here today we got mr kim behind the camera um we are venturing up a hill right now to visit a young lady by the name of rochelle and when we get there you'll see you know what we're about today so Please remember to like and to share and subscribe to the channel so once we post a new video you will be notified all right okay let's go not too. you hear dogs <laughs> My dog got a friend. <laughs> Corona. Oh my god. Oh wow, no man. Hello. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, little man. Hi, morning. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, me, you come meet? Oh, what's you? <laughs> okay. All right, you lead the way. Oh, boy, we have an escort. <laughs> Here I am giving you a pass, not knowing. What's your name? Rajani. Rajani? Oh, why are you not at school today? Why are you not at school today? Huh? Oh, school not keeping today. Okay. Oh, wow. Jesus. Boy, we must be lucky to be always trotting these times. <laughs> oh, my God. How far we're coming from? <laughs> Over down there. Hey Johnny, how much further are we going? Far, far? No? Okay. in time <laughs> have to rest the knees <laughs> oh wow. all right let's go How are you doing? I'm okay. Oh wow! Oh Lord, yes, that's an understatement. <laughs> I am more than tired. I didn't know it was so far up the hill. <laughs> oh my baby! Oh Lord! Oh yes! Oh, is the car playing music? So how are you this morning? Okay. <sighs> oh 
Might as well five minutes before me start talking. Me tired. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, so good morning again, Rochelle. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm okay. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us a little about yourself, starting with your name, of course. Oh, my name is Rochelle Smith. Mm -hmm. I am 35 years old. Well, I'm from Mesa Run, which is where they call down here. Mm -hmm. And where I'm living at the moment is my grandfather's place. Mm -hmm. He passed, mm -hmm. so he left the house oh. for me. Okay, okay. All right, and you, I see, how many children do you have? I have six children. Mm -hmm. But normally, I cater for five. Mm -hmm. The oldest one, she's 18. Mm -hmm. But she's not living with me. She's living with my parents when she was a baby growing up. Okay. So they are the one who will take care of her. Mm -hmm. I have the rest. The second one, mm -hmm. she's gone to school. She's mm -hmm. 15. Third one, she's 13. The other one, nine. The other one, four. And the baby's one. Okay, okay. All right, so... um. Just to mention that your neighbor, Mr. Liston, right. would have reached out to us on your behalf okay. because he saw the need. Right. So just explain to us now, you know, why he would have reached out to us and, and would have spoken since. So just explain to us, you know, what your situation is and what you would like um, help with. Okay, the situation is like this. As I said, my grandfather passed mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, all time people they you come they have their furniture for ages mm -hmm. mostly they're going to get destroyed so that is what happened and before he passed um i was getting assistance from family members that's before he passed and um they were paying one of my uncle was paying the light bill while he was alive but when he passed they stopped. Mm -hmm. So eventually I don't have any light as well. Mm -hmm. And I always say, let me put in this part. I never leave out this part. I'm a child of God, so you know, the teething thing, I'm mm -hmm. not into it. So every night mm -hmm. we make sure we have a candle. Mm -hmm. So we use the candle at night. So furniture, that is yeah, what I really need. Mm -hmm. As I said, there are three bedrooms. One of them have bed, the rest. Mm -hmm. There's no furniture at all, mm -hmm. no city, no light. Yes, the house needs a little painting as well. Mm -hmm. So that is my most things that I really need. So mm -hmm. Mas Liston saw it. He mm -hmm. was talking to me about it. Never know he was he had it in mind to reach out yes. to anybody. But mm -hmm. he was talking to me about it. So that is it. Yes, yes. Okay, so um um do you currently work? No, I'm not working at the moment. Well, I was teaching at a primary school further down the road, mm -hmm. but need further education mm -hmm. to go f um, further. But it was just yesterday I met up with the Heart Trust. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I signed in to do the level two in mm -hmm. early childhood, but they said the program will not start until September. So that is what I'm really waiting on. Okay, okay. So is it that you had um, some form of education, so you were able to teach for some right, time? Right. Okay, but you need further studies. Right. So you'd have lost your job as a result? Um, not really say I've lost the job, but mm -hmm. as I said, to go higher mm -hmm. or to stay in the institution, then mm -hmm. you have to have higher studies. So. Okay, so you have to complete right. that studies, for further studies, in order to go back. Right. Okay, but you weren't earning an income before. Right. Okay. Okay. So um is that why no you find yourself in a situation? Is it if it is that you were still at the institution, you would be able to afford probably, to buy the things that probably not everything, but mainly probably I would still be able to pay the light bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably even that it would you know, cover at least that. Mm -hmm. But probably like the furniture and so forth, probably I would still need a little mm -hmm. assistant with my income if I was still mm -hmm. um, working. Okay, so how, what, what is, um, the, the, you know, what impacts you the most now in terms of the challenges you have? I hear you talk about the furniture, but is there anything else? Um, all right, with the children, assistant of them um, going to school, not going to lie, get a little assistance from family, yes, yes. but not every day. Because, yeah. you know, they have their 
problems and their responsibility as well. Mm -hmm. So I get a little help for them sometimes. Mm -hmm. So with them, I'd need a little assistance because I said three of them going mm -hmm. into high school not responsible for one. Mm -hmm. But the other two, the two boys, well, they couldn't go to school this morning because, to be honest, I never had it to really mm -hmm. push them out this morning. Okay, so that is why they're here. Yeah. Okay, and Rajani did mention that he doesn't. His school is not keeping today. His school is keeping today. <laughs> I don't know why, because you don't know why. Sometimes you, you do. You see, because he's small, because he's yes. poor. But sometimes you know, school will not be keeping. I said, Rajani, no school today. So yeah. see, every time he doesn't go to school, just have it in his head that no, no school, school today. No school today. Okay, so you have challenges with the children, yes. monetary wise. Wise and mainly, mm -hmm. sometimes that that is a part that. Um, can I hurt me the most? Mm -hmm. it, it happens most of the times. Mm -hmm. It is hard for me sometimes to find even breakfast for them in the mornings. Oh, wow. Because most mornings they're out mm -hmm. without breakfast. And oh, oh to God. be honest, knowing Rajan, mm -hmm. sometimes he go to school and he eat his break before time. Oh, because he's hungry. And when the teacher asks, it's not like the rest of them would keep quiet. Rajan mm -hmm. is going to like, I didn't have any breakfast this oh. morning. So sometimes I really do have challenges to get food mm -hmm. for them because up to before you came I was talking to them because to be honest I really have conversation with them. Mm -hmm. I don't really have friends where I yes. pour out to. Yes. And I was saying to them I don't know what you guys are going to eat later. Mm -hmm. But because sometimes I'm a person like this I just sit and I say I just wait on God. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I really it it is really challenging it with the true. five of them. Yes. And not that when I really look at how brilliant they are, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to let them fall back because mm -hmm. the grades are good. Mm -hmm. From A to go up, I don't get any lower grades from that. Mm -hmm. And Shom, Shamoya, and Sharika, that are the two bigger girls that are living with me, mm -hmm. they're on the track and field as well. She won her gold medal the other day for a 5K. Wow. So they are doing well, yes. but the monetary part is yes. kind of pushing them back mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and um, because of that mm -hmm. they're you know they are mocked at school sometimes i'm gonna don't go lie but yeah. you know okay. sometimes you go to school and parents um children say you're poor even yeah. teachers as well oh no yeah get at them yeah, yeah. so they are facing the challenges as, as well. well right oh no oh wow so all right let me ask you this though because in terms of the the studies that you are to do, you did say, is it that that program is not ready as yet? Is it something no, you'll it have is, to pay no, for? No, for uh, when I spoke to them yesterday, it is hard trust. Mm -hmm. They said for do to level two and three, mm -hmm. it is free. Okay. It's just that when you're going to do level four now, you have to pay something. Mm -hmm. But they said level two and three is free. Mm -hmm. I just have to go to classes. But with the classes now, mm -hmm. they said I, it, it's, it's my choice if I want to travel mm -hmm. or I want to do it online. Where would you go? It's in Mandeville. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking because of the baby, probably mm -hmm. I'll do it online. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And it would be more yes. um, affordable. Right. Seeing you wouldn't have to pay fare to go right. and so on. Okay, so um, you mind showing us, you know, what the rooms look like, seeing as how you mentioned the furniture and so on? No problem. All right, after you, my lady. <laughs> um, are you coming inside? Yes. All right, this is one of the rooms that we all share. Mm -hmm. that this is the front one. Okay. okay. So, oh, so everybody is in this room. In this one. Oh, because you only have one bed. Right. And then you see the windows are falling out. And, mm. and this one now is the, the middle room. If I'm blocking you. Okay. Okay. And this one now is the the back room. Oh, so all the rooms are empty. Right. Hmm. Okay. So when you talk about furniture now you're talking about like bed and yeah, right. yeah. dresser. 
because I want to split them because mm. you know boys and girls yeah because mm -hmm. you have enough rooms here it's just that you're without furniture right okay and the electricity is disconnected right okay. the meter either get destroyed oh. because the holes that they're building down there mm -hmm. um the my grandfather built the what you call it now the thing that they put the meter on mm -hmm. and the post the, right mm -hmm. so what happened they came to build a house it was on their property mm -hmm. so they used the tractor to lick it down we don't oh. say anything so it break up the meter and so forth so okay so lord so that would need to be erected again for the meter to go on for it to be yes, reconnected when i spoke to jps they said that for me to get back a meter mm -hmm. the entire house have to do a rewire oh my god Oh wow. How long has this been? How long have you been without electricity? Um I'd call it a year. April coming would be two years. Two years? Two years. So the children manage in terms <laughs> of um, as I said, we use the candle or sometimes they get up early in the morning and they do their homework. Oh before. when yep. you're able to see. Yeah. And then sometimes people call me and they don't get me. I have to go way over a house down there, come back over the hill mm -hmm. to plug my phone. Oh in. to get some charge. Right. Oh, wow. Because that is why I see you when the car driver because I was about to plug in the phone. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So how how has all of this been affecting you though, Rochelle? How do you feel? What's going on? How do I feel? I trust me, I don't feel good, especially, you know, mm -hmm. persons in the district, especially when they know your situation and especially when, you mm -hmm. know, they throw it in your face. Mm -hmm. And even, it's harder when, you know, they say it to the children, because I, I remember one incident, a young man um, said to one of them, um, plug in my phone for me. Mm -hmm. And then he said, oh, sorry, remember, so you're not have no light. Yeah, that is what yeah. they go through. So mm -hmm. it, from, it probably, if it was me alone, but yeah. when I see it really affect them, yes. it kind of hurt me a lot. Okay, yeah. okay. Were you born and raised in Mason? Is it Mason or Mason? Mason. 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 All right, what happened is that I, to be honest with you, just the other day I knew my mother. Mm -hmm. So I heard I was born in, well, on my birth certificate, I was born in Trelawney. Mm -hmm. And they said my mother gave me away when I was one year old mm -hmm. to my father. But since getting old and hearing my mother's side of the story is a totally different story. So okay. I was raised over here with mm -hmm. my father because my father was living here. Mm -hmm. Not exactly up here, but in the district. Yes. So I was here for, for a while with mm -hmm. grandparents mm -hmm. until I left, go further down the road with my stepmother when my father got married mm -hmm. at five years old. They left and built a house at Cobbler. Okay. So I moved with them to Kabla. Out of it, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, when my grandfather was alive, it was better. Mm -hmm. Because because he was here and he was sick because he had a prostrate. The, mm -hmm. His sons used to, even my father, mm -hmm. come in. So they would do grocery for the week. Okay. They would pay the bills. Mm -hmm. But this was after he passed, no. Nothing. Nothing. But mm -hmm. even though, if I call them, you know, and say, Yes. Can I have a thousand dollars? And so once they have it, they will get it. They will get it. Okay. So forth, yeah. Yeah. But I can't expect them to do as much as I'd want because you know they're married, they have mm -hmm. their children and so forth. Yes. And then my dad, who will you know help, he's not well. Oh, so oh, he's, he's sick. sick. Yeah, because he's sick to an extent where mm. he doesn't even know who I am. Oh no. Yep. Wow. Yep. So the devil wow. seems like he wants to touch me. Mm -hmm. seems like I'm yeah. to say he wants mm -hmm. seems like he just wants to touch every area of my mm -hmm. life. Like, you mm -hmm. know, Russia you're not supposed to come out to anything. Yeah. But well, you I continue to press it. on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna give up because mm -hmm. when you let down your garden, you yes. know, you give the devil a loophole mm -hmm. to walk. Yes. Yeah. So I just said, you know, church, mm -hmm. I'm going to serve God. Yes. Not going to tell you that I am perfect. Mm -hmm. Nobody is perfect. Mm -hmm. But 
I have to fight. Yes. I have to fight. Absolutely. You have been through a lot, Dora Shell. A lot. Holy, yes, a holy. Yeah. Holy, but I still stand. Go through a holy in the community as well. Yeah. But I still stand. Yeah. By yeah. God's grace. By God's grace. Wow. So when you came here, was there furniture in the house? Yes, furniture was here. But you know, they get old. Mm -hmm. One, so, you know, so one night we were sleeping on, and then we weren't sleeping. We just lay down on the bed because this used to be the room that mm -hmm. I was in. Yes. My grandfather was in the front room, mm -hmm. the middle room. I only night and the people didn't go around there because yes. the TV was here. Mm -hmm. And we lay down on the bed one night and we only hear. <laughs> oh my God! The furniture collapsed. Oh, the, yes, so it's like they have them for a long yeah. time, so they just get old. So you had to clean out and throw. So, I see them are cars, the dust and the dust, and just, just get one day and I say, God, I'm going to take them out. Mm -hmm. Probably I have to take them out for something mm -hmm. to come in. So mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. what I did. I always say, especially to ladies, don't lose your integrity mm -hmm. to get what you want. Yes. To stand. Pray if you can fast, you fast, mm -hmm. and God will provide. Absolutely, well said, well said, Rochelle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, as I'm here on this platform, I'm just asking anybody who can assist me. Doesn't matter how small it is, I will still be grateful. I will still give God thanks because you know nobody didn't have to come in and help so it doesn't matter how small it is but I'm really asking for your assistance in any area at all and I really really be grateful it will really help me a lot and you know and I, be, even before I get it I just want to say thank you everybody for listening and thank you for helping okay wonderful wonderful okay <laughs> not gonna cry again <laughs> Okay, Rochelle, um, first of all, you know, I want to say to you, thanks so much for sharing your story with us. I know it's not easy because just listening to you, you know, I really had to break down. I think you're so strong to be able to share your story and, you know, be so straight faced and so, you know, so because when we came this morning, you were all smiles. The smile. Yes, but I could really see that, you know, even though you're smiling, there's something else. Hurt yes, you. it hurts you. So, you know, um, thanks again. And we are praying that, okay. you know, God will see you through. That's you are, you know, strong in your faith in God. And we admire that. So, guys, you know, having heard Russia's story, on her behalf, we are asking you, because you would have heard the things that, you know, the challenges, what she would have gone through, what her situation is now with the children. So if you are in a position and you find that you are able to help, please reach out to us. Um, there is no furniture here. I know, um, but like she said, no matter how small, so whether it be paint or, you know, furniture or food or some assistance with the children. And she did mention that one of her children they, he doesn't have, that's Rajani? No, not Rajani, the baby. The baby. She doesn't have any shoes. Oh, yeah, it's Rajani. Rajani, yeah. right. So, anything at all, clothes for the children, shoes, um, monetary assistance, whatever it is that you are able to give, we will be more than grateful. All right, and you can always reach out to us at 876-512-4055. Alright, and so that's where we end the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it a little everything Jamaican. Bye bye and blessed love.